we are back and we have some upgrades to do. And it's time when we look at everything that we've got. We are mainly using the heavies right now. So let's go ahead and upgrade those guys and let's get to some good attacks. We also have to expand our map, so let's get the radar growing too and let's get started. Lieutenant Hammerman has asked for a full frontal assault. So let's go ahead and give it to him. What we're going to do, we're going to drop our troops off to the left. And then we're going to approach the machine gun and the sniper towers. They are all low on this one. This is a non-player base. So you can see the heavies are taking a lot more damage now, which is good. We get everybody into position. And what we're going to do is target the other sniper tower. Heal them up as much as we can, take out the sniper tower, and that is going to leave us in position to just take out the headquarters without a problem. And there we go, another non-player base, and we got a crystal fragment. On our way to building another statue. That attack gave us that, so we're going to get some magma fragments, and we're going to be able to boost our troops soon. So let's see what we can do next. Here we go, attacking Trifecta. Drop our troops, and if we can take out that mortar and the machine gun, we can get into position so we don't have to worry about the sniper tower, but we will take it out with our gunboat energy. As we approach the mortar, we see our heavies. They're taking good damage now since they're upgraded, and we are now using the heavy Zooka strategy. Unfortunately, the mortars got a hit on the Zookas, leaving us one but that's still gonna leave us with plenty of troops to take out the headquarters and as soon as we take out that machine gun it's time to target that headquarters and let's see if we can get another magma fragment and there goes the headquarters doesn't look like we got a fragment this time but we're gonna continue on let's get our troops built back up we got a daily reward waiting for us and now that means, look, some more dark fragments. We are building up, but we don't have enough to build another statue yet. Here we are at, we'll just say, Emily's base. And we're going to do our standard flare attack to get to the back. And we're going to swing around because this is another newer player. And you can see that they've got all their defenses up to the front. So all we have to do is get behind. We are not going to have enough gunboat energy to get right behind the headquarters but we're going to be able to take out some support buildings and then take out the player base. And we get into position without a problem. And as you can see, we are taking out this play we are taking out Emily's player base and there we go. Let's see if we can get some good fragments on this one. And we got green and we got a green shard, so we're doing good. The trader has arrived, so we're going to go ahead and get our free trader box, and let's see what we've earned. There we go. We're going to fill up our resources and also get some hero tokens, but we've also got 12 boxes that we can buy. Let's see what else we can get. Our resources are almost maxed out, but I desperately want those crystals, so we got a hero token and some gold. We're going to fill up on gold. Our next trader chest our next trader nope another hero token and more gold let's see what we get with this one there we go we got our dark shards that should be enough for a dark shard statue and then just to finish it off we end up with another hero token and some lumber so now we've got enough that we can build a dark energy statue let's see what we can get we build the idol and we are going to end up with in five four three two one we end up with a six percent boost to our gunboat energy that's awesome that's going to give us another shot every time that we uh, use our bombs to start clearing a base the fun part about not building any defensive buildings is that we are left with all these great resources using gold. Even though we don't use gold in defensive buildings, it does kind of play out as we're building resources with attacks. And now we can expand our map. So watch this. We're able to unlock all of these areas. There's the sub area. We need to get our sub. But we can explore this area. We find another resource base. 
we explore the north end of the map and we're getting closer and closer to the snow areas to the frozen caps and we've got a whole bunch of expansion going on this is awesome we managed to get another resource base in a volcanic area and we have found Dr. T we are going to attack W. Anderson or Wanderson and we have already begun our flare strategy to the back and you can see we are already getting into great position got to build a little bit more gunboat energy so we can get this building and then we're going to flare one more time and it looks like we're just going to have a free-for-all on this headquarters and turn it into another victory and that mortar's trying to take out our heavies but you can see we take out the base because we have been upgrading our troops instead of building defensive buildings it looks like everything is going good here is heavy damage a non-player base we use our bombs from uh, our gunboat energy to take out that cannon which you can see does severe damage and we lose one heavy but then we are left for another free-for-all on top of the headquarters and we're going to end up getting some great resources. Let's see if we can earn that last magma fragment that we need. And no fragment yet. They are being evasive with us, but we will get it, I promise you. 